what's up you guys Christy Anderson here with one fish two fish and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys some of the top lures that you guys can put in your arsenal and we are gonna be starting everything from our hard plastics um, we're gonna cover mirror lure some jig heads this is one of the main ways Jeff and I love to get on some fish is the soft plastic so I'll cover um, you know when to use which lure where to use it application and uh, how to fish them um, then we've got good old popping corks we've got an array of these so, all right the first First thing we're gonna start talking about are jig heads and your soft plastic. So here we've got um, a bunch of different jig heads that you guys can buy. Everything from short shank, uh, trout eyes right here to the gotcha jig head with longer shank. All right, so the most common right here is the quarter ounce. This is what Jeff and I have rigged up. This is gonna be if you guys are fishing in the flats. Uh, you guys are gonna just tie on your leader line and go straight to a jig head. Quarter ounce is gonna get the job done. Now, if you guys are targeting the deeper troughs or a deep channel, a deep jetty, you guys are gonna wanna up that to a 3 8 ounce. Uh, one of your bigger options for the jig head. This is what's gonna get it down to uh, you know, the bottom of that channel. So if you guys don't wanna be getting hung up on the oyster beds or um, you know, the reeds and you guys seem to be getting hung up, definitely switch to the smaller jig head right here and this is the 1 8 ounce. Um, also, this is a really great option if it's you know winter time and you guys are wanting to fish slower, those fish are moving slower, they're not feeding and as active. Um, this is a great option because it's got a slower fall rate. It's not as heavy, so it's really gonna kind of um, play out when stick. you guys are fishing in different like seasons definitely trout. consider um, you know a lighter smaller jig head the 1 8 ounce if you guys are fishing in cooler weather all right so right now I've got on the quarter ounce jig head with a z-man shrimp so when you guys are fishing the soft plastics when you're going straight to a jig head you really just want to be bouncing your bait on the bottom you guys can try different cadences so whether it's a bounce bounce you guys can kind of switch up your cadence I typically like to do a couple pops let it fall when you guys are fishing this, you definitely want to make contact with the bottom, but you don't want to have too much slack in the line because that's usually when that fish is either going to take your bait or you're just going to not, you're not going to get the hook set. So you guys definitely want to make sure you're making contact, but at the same time, you're not leaving too much slack in your line. All right, so that's the basic fundamentals of fishing a jig head, but you're not gonna always wanna be fishing the bottom. So one thing I love about soft plastics and using a jig head is that it's super versatile. So say you guys are gonna be targeting rocks or a jetty, you're not gonna wanna fish it on the bottom because you're not gonna wanna get it hung up. So your cadence is gonna be quicker. There's gonna be more pops and less slack in the line. Because again, you guys are not targeting the bottom. You might be targeting, um, you know, keeping that bait in the middle to bottom part of the water column. You wanna still keep it in the strike, strike zone, but you're not gonna be making contact like you would otherwise if you weren't fishing a jetty or some rocks. So again, it's just gonna be kind of quicker pops working it a little bit faster, keeping it above the rocks, but still in that strike zone. All right, y'all, so that is how you guys fish straight to a jig head, but one of my very favorite ways to fish for redfish is with a popping cork. So here I've got tied on just your classic Cajun Thunder popping cork right here. And one awesome thing about popping corks um, that is really different from fishing straight to a jig head is that it's gonna really help suspend your bait. So if you guys are fishing over a grass bed, um, if you guys are fishing oyster flats, this is what's gonna help really suspend that bait in the strike zone, still get it down to where those fish are at, but you're not gonna be getting hung up nearly as much if you're fishing straight to a jig head. All right, so not only is the popping cork gonna help keep your bait in the strike zone, it's going to attract more strikes. Reason being is because uh, popping cork was really designed not only to keep your bait above into the strike zone, but also it really emulates the sound of a shrimp clicking. So it's irresistible to redfish. They love it. Um, a cool kind of part about popping corks is it comes in a bunch of different sizes and shapes. So I'm going to show you guys really quick um, just some different shapes and sizes that you guys can buy. Fish on. This is the flounder. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those heads. Holy crap. Big freaking red drum. Oh, get the net, Christy. Get the net. Keep all right, you guys. Check out this beautiful red fish I just caught. All right, so here we have all of our kind of different style popping corks. If you guys are uh, kind of first one I want to talk about, if you guys are fishing, um, say you're down in the Keys, uh, you guys want something with a little bit less water um, noise and disturbance, this one is great. It's a cigar style, as you guys can see. Um, this is really awesome if you guys are fishing in clear water or around skittish fish. It's got a smaller profile, so 
still going to give you that clicking that you want that resembles a shrimp, but it's not nearly um, as kind of loud and, um, you know, pro this one's a bigger profile to it. Uh, this one is another great option if you guys are fishing in open water. It's got a kind of a concave piece right here, which really helps it to push more water. Here, it's going to create more of a water disturbance. It's louder. This is great for open water. All right, so out of all of these, Jeff and I typically fish this one, this style right here. Again, it's a do everything. And um, another great kind of thing about, you know, the heavier popping corks with a bigger profile is that you definitely get longer casting distance. All right, so again, typically you guys want a quarter ounce jig head when fishing these popping corks, once you guys cast it out. One thing I love about popping corks, it's pretty easy. Uh, you guys are gonna give it a pop, if you guys want a couple pops, and then let it sit. Uh, one thing you guys really wanna make sure you're doing is not giving too much slack in your line. If you guys especially are using live shrimp or a live uh, minnow or whatever on the end of your line, it's gonna be taken in a second, you're not even gonna know about it. So definitely wanna keep the line from um, the top of your rod all the way down to the popping cork, make sure um, there's not too much slack. Again, give it a few seconds. All right, so once you guys kind of cast your popping cork out there, how you're gonna work is you're gonna pop it and reel down. Wait a couple seconds, pop, pop. Reel down, make sure your line is tight. Wait a couple seconds for that bait to really fall. Maybe give it one pop. Really depends on what you guys like for a cadence. I typically go one pop at a time. Some people like a couple pops. It gives a little bit more water disturbance. All right, so again, pop. Roll down, wait a couple seconds. Pop and reel. All right, so now we're gonna talk about some of our soft plastics that we use. So we've got everything from Scented, Berkeley Gulp, all the way to Z-Man. All right, so some of the favorites that Jeff and I typically use, you guys cannot go wrong. This is a sure bet. If you guys are going to try and get on some fish, Definitely this new penny shrimp right here is gonna get the job done. This is one of our favorites that we always use. It's great under a popping cork. Uh, it's just a very realistic looking shrimp and it's scented. All right, so when you guys are pairing your soft plastic up with your jig head, you've got these two options right here that I have. It's the longer shank versus the shorter shank. Uh, for instance, this is gonna be a great option for you to pair up. Uh, the reason being is because it's got a longer shank, the longer hook, so you're not gonna get as many short strikes versus say you were to, you know, this is not an appropriate kind of um, combo right here because you're gonna, you're not gonna really get, um, you know, a lot of fish on that. You're gonna have a lot of short strikes. You're not gonna get them hooked because this is a very short uh, shank right here. All right, so other kind of um, Berkeley Gulp and scented options for your soft plastics. You've got everything from the Jerk Shad, which Jeff and I love to use. These are really awesome for kind of popping off the bottom. Uh, these are kind of two colors Jeff and I love to use. Again, you're gonna probably pair this up with um, this longer shank jig head right here. Uh, so this pink shrine and the pearl white, these are two awesome ones that Jeff and I always have in our tackle bag at all times. Uh, this has more of an erratic action. It's a slender body, so it really gives kind of an irresistible, um, almost like a, a darting bait fish. So this is a great option. All right, so these are some of our other options for the Z-Man that they have. So this is Trout Trek. It's got a slender profile. These are awesome for up in the flats. Uh, we've got everything from this Laguna shrimp. Woo! These are dynamite, you guys. They All right, they also have this shrimp right here, which is really awesome, especially under a popping cork. It's got the sound of a popping cork, but it's got a really nice kind of profile to it. It looks very realistic. So when you guys are kind of picking out not only your soft plastic, but the color, uh, typically um, we go with, you know, if you guys are fishing say in the Outer Banks, it's stained darker, murkier water. You're gonna wanna go with maybe a darker bait. All right, versus if you guys are fishing say in Stewart, Florida, you guys are gonna be fishing the Laguna shrimp. Uh, it's a very light, natural color resembles the shrimp that are going to be in Florida. So lighter water, maybe, you know, try using a lighter bait versus darker stained water, use a darker bait. All right, y'all. So Christy just did an awesome job talking about jig heads and soft plastics. Now let's talk about hard plastics and top water. So while soft plastics and jig heads are very versatile, sometimes a hard plastic or a mirror lure, a suspending twitch bait, a slow sinking twitch bait, or a top water, that's what's gonna get the job done. Plus, if you don't like catching fish on top water, who are you? Top water is the best, most fun way to catch fish. So let's go ahead, check it out. These are our mirror lures. We have everything from, this is the smallest profile mirror dean. This is a heavy dean. I absolutely love this color profile right here. Now, Miralure, they make 
all different types of color patterns. They make custom color patterns, everything. So what we're keying in on is the profile of these lures because it resembles a mullet. So for mirror lure, this is my favorite style mirror lure. It's the Miro Dean. So we've got the Heavy Dean, smaller profile, the Miro Dean XL, and the Miro Dean Double XL. So these are our different colors right here. And you know, everything from electric chicken to um, we've got this one right here. This resembles a Creole croaker from Z-Man. But again, you guys, it's just the profile that really gets the job done with these mirror lures. We also have a Paul Brown. So a Paul Brown is, as you can see, it's kind of like more of a soft plastic type texture to it. It's not like a hard plastic per se, although it does have the same action, generally speaking. Um, this one's gonna have a much slower fall rate or sink rate than these Miradines. These Miradines are a slow sinking twitch bait, while the Paul Browns is more or less a suspending um, twitch bait. And these have, as you can see, just like a fat profile to them. Uh, they have not as much more of a subtle, they have like a few beads down here, so just a subtle kind of noise to them. But again, just this profile is amazing. So these are great, especially when you're fishing mangroves, uh, you're fishing down in Florida. Um, these things are awesome because again, it's just gonna stay up in that upper part of the water column. So Paul Brown is a great option as well for mirror lure. Um, now, uh, these right here are our top waters. So this, so this right here is more or less, these are a lot of our top water lures that we use. So this is the Rapala Skitter V10 right here. It's got a great walk the dog uh, kind of action to it. We also use the Mirror Lure Top Dog, which is, which is what I have tied on for you guys right here. I'm gonna show y'all how to fish this in one second. Um, and then we have a Chug Bug. This is kind of like your typical like pop R, popper lure for bass fishing. You know, these are great for striper fishing as well. And um, you know, one thing about redfish is anything that works for largemouth bass is gonna work for redfish as well. This is a whopper plopper. So let's go ahead and let me show y'all real quick how to fish these hard plastics. Uh, Christy and I, we do have a full tutorial and video on mirror lures and fishing them, but just to give you guys just the general fundamentals and premise of fishing these mirror lures, the first one that we're gonna be fishing with, this is the Miradine XL. And with all these um, suspending and slow sinking twitch baits, generally the same type of action and uh, technique that you're gonna be using. So what we're gonna do is just cast it on out. So when it first hits the water, I'm gonna go ahead and reel down my slack. And then sometimes I'll give it just a few twitches. So the retrieve is just gonna be these small twitches of the rod, that's it. And in the summertime, we're going to increase our cadence and we're gonna fish it a little faster. So in the wintertime, it's gonna be a much slower cadence. It's gonna be close to five seconds in between each twitch of the rod. So that's the general technique for fishing these uh, slow sinking and suspending twitch baits. It's just slow, it's just subtle twitches of your rod. Reel down and you do wanna twitch it on a slack line on a small slack line because that's what's going to allow this bait to have that natural, you know, kind of flutter motion in the water. All right, y'all, so now I'm gonna show y'all how to fish a topwater lure. And a topwater lure is gonna have like a walk the dog motion to it. So in order to fish, so to fish this lure, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast it out. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna make subtle twitches of the rod as we reel it in. So it is kind of like a simultaneous as you're making these subtle twitches of the rod. And it's definitely a feel type thing. You, it's, I can explain to you all day long how to fish this lure, but you, you just have to get out and you have to, as long as your lure has that walk the dog motion to it, that is what you want. And as it's doing that, you have two beads in there, which are making that click, 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 click noise to it. So. This is actually ideal conditions for fishing this top water because we have low light. And that's when these fish are gonna key in more on the top water. Some people like in Texas, y'all can use, so a lot of people like in Texas will use top water lures all day throughout the day. But you know, generally speaking, top water lures work best in low light conditions. So what you're gonna do is just cast it out and 
as you're reeling it in, it's subtle twitches of the tip of the rod, just like this. So as you can see, this is giving it that nice walk the dog motion, that zigzag. And it's just click, 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 click. So one more time. So it's just, as you can see, this is the action that you want your top water lure to have, is that side to side walk the dog motion. Some people like to vary their cadence where they'll go fast and then pause. And a lot of times that's where you're gonna get bit, right there is on that pause. Or you can just do a steady cadence. As long as it is, so as long as it has that side to side, click, 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 click motion and sound, that's what you want right there. So anyways, y'all, those are the top lures for fishing. Christy did an awesome job explaining the soft plastics and these are the hard plastics and the mirror lures and the top water. Y'all, please help out this channel and just hit that subscribe button. These are totally free videos for y'all and thank y'all for watching. Peace out.